Yo, 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 physics, 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 physics. I am Vinayopal and I'm back. This is season two, episode number four of the Pathfinder series. And here I'm bringing to you a question from the kinematics chapter. And this is part of the Pathfinder homework that I've given for the crash course for the kinematics chapter. So let's take a look. This question, question number 19 of the Build Up Your Understanding. Uh, angle of projection for the maximum horizontal range of projectile is 45 degrees. We know that there's a point of projection and the point of landing are in the same horizontal level. Determine the angle of projection for the maximum horizontal range of a projectile if the point of landing is at height h above the point of projection or point of landing is h below the point of projection. So, we have seen this in our lectures. For an oblique projectile, this range is maximized when tan theta is u by v. So you can do the same calculation uh, even for a particle thrown to an elevation. It's the same process and you'll get the same expression for this. So it's very straightforward because tan theta will be u divided by uh, final speed will be u square plus 2gh. This is the case where the uh, landing is h below. So what I'm doing is part b first, right? And in the textbook, they have given the answer in terms of sine theta, so that's pretty straightforward to get. Once you get tan theta, you can get sine theta as u divided by root of u squared, 2u squared plus 2gh. So that is your answer for part b. For part a, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is change h to minus h because now the uh, instead of descending, the particle is now ascending. And so I'm just going to write directly the final answer, 2u squared minus 2gh, that's it for maximizing the range. If you want to derive part A from basics, you can just follow the same process we did for part B during our lectures. We'll just refer to that theory where we derive the maximum range for an oblique projectile. It's the same expression, just h will be replaced by minus h because what we derived was for uh, a particle descending and now we're going to do it for a particle ascending in part A.